welcome you guys to my new tutorial about things you should know. In today's lecture I will show you the reason why we have low and high tide. Okay, you know that if you are standing next to a coast you see the water coming up and down all the time and it's periodic. Now let's look how this happens. The, the big point is the moon. Okay, the moon as I will show it in to you next year. So I've uh, drawn here the earth and this shall be sea on the earth, a very very large but not very good looking sea actually. And now imagine yourself you had a ver moon here next to it. Okay? First of all I, I will draw here the orbit of your moon, it will move later on and here I will draw in a moon. Now what will happen is actually the moon will drag all the water to itself. It's because of gravity. Uh, the perpendicular distance, the, at the smallest distance, there is the highest displacement of water. And you can see here on the right hand side that now I will go back maybe. Now you can see it's on the coast actually and here also. Now what happens if the moon is coming here, the coast here just small down and here a large bit okay it's just over exaggerated but you can get the idea it's because the volume of the water doesn't change but it's um, distribution and if you it's like pulling up um, a cloth if you put it up on you know, with a peak it will get smaller and smaller in the area okay so what will then happen is the moon doesn't stay where it is it is rotating around our planet, okay, our planet the Earth. Now what will happen is we will move here. Now what will happen is that the water here perpendicular to that will be um, um, gravitated very very strongly and here getting less and less and again you see here the water displacement is quite a bit here I didn't draw it in. It doesn't matter uh, the, the size of the effect but you can imagine yourself now this is so to say the tissue and I'm pulling up the tissue in the middle so it gets smaller in the in the regions outside okay and then it will actually move here again on the next spot what will happen is then the tide is here uh, what we have here is low tide okay and actually after this is if you imagine the moon moving back again okay it will then I go, go here maybe you see this and some uh, it will rotate further and further until it has no effect and then you're again at the first picture where you have high tide so this is when the moon is over your sea you will have low tide and if it's moving further um, and the, the attraction of the moon, the gravitation, will get less and less until you have high tide. Okay, this is the, the idea and it's periodically because the moon is orbiting or rotating around our planet. But actually this is not the only factor. There are other factors, for example the sun, sun it's actually the same because uh, you, you may know that the distance to the sun from Earth, the Sun is very, very large uh, compared to the distance between Moon and Earth. Earth, but uh, what is actually the big point is that the Sun has a gigantic mass, so its gravitation is too uh, and is also very, very large. Um, even not uh, as good as the Moon, but it's still there, and it's actually also periodic because our Earth is rotating around its own axis and this is also the next planet uh, not, not next planet sorry it's in the, the next point in our list it's uh, the rotation of the earth I've drawn here a picture you can see the earth and uh, I've drawn here the axis a bit oblique because it's actually not rotating if you imagine here the sun a bigger sun and it's not really uh, perpendicular to that but oblique what will happen then if you would imagine you have some um, 
some water in there what will happen is that here in the middle the water will pressure out the most and here it will go not that much and this is what we have so the water will push out here not that much so if the water is pushing here a bit out what will happen again the tissue effect so that the these uh, parts of water will get shorter and here we have higher okay. so this is it so we had three factors we had the moon we had the sun both um, being gravitational factors and then there's the rotation of the earth which is pushing the water against the um, equator I don't know if it's called equator in English but I think it's true okay I hope you had fun watching this video and if you still have questions about how this works I know this was not very mathematical and uh, I didn't use any equations but I think you can now imagine how it happens okay so if you still have questions feel free and comment see you guys